Hello everyone, thanks for clicking this video. Today I'll show you how to create a lace fistel braid with elastic braid. This beautiful style is easy to do and create for different occasions. This is my hairstyle EXO. I will show you lots of different braids and hairstyles. If you like my channel, please show some love by subscribe and clicking the thumbs up for this video. Thank you and welcome to the, my channel. Start by creating small diagonal part line on the front of your head. This part line is only for the beginning of the fishtail. I start on this side and after part line I start to add hair also on this side. Take a small piece of hair and separate it in two pieces. Take a small section from the left side, bring it over and add to the right. Then take the piece from right, bring it over to the left. Piece from left, over to the right. Take a section from the right, bring it over and add hair. Take a section from the left side, bring it over and add hair. On the beginning, I add hair also from the left side because I don't want that there's too much hair on my face. Next, take a small piece from right, bring it over and add hair from the right side. Take a small piece from the left side, bring it over and add some hair again. Split the small section from the right, bring it over and add hair. Bring the left strand over, then leave some accent hair out of the braid if you like to, and add hair to the left strand. Take a small piece from right and add hair. As you can see, now I'm adding the hair from the another side of the small part line I did on the first. On the same time, stop adding hair from the left side. So add hair on the right side, bring the left strand over but don't add hair, bring the right over and add hair. Bring the left over, don't add hair, right over and add hair. When you create lace pistol braid, you easily growing the left side much more bigger than the right side because you bring on the left side kind of double amount of hair. To avoid this, you need to bring smaller sections from the right side while you adding the hair. But if the braid is still unsymmetrical, you can also take bigger sections from the left side so you can get the sections in balance. When the braid reaches on the place, you want your elastic braid keep on braiding without addings. Braid must be 5 to 10 cm longer than you really need, so you are able to hide the end of the fistel braid. If you want, you can pancake the left side of the fistel braid to get some more volume. Then secure the braid with an elastic. Next, I beginning the elastic braid, but first I create the base under the fistel braid. Take a small section of hair from the both sides. Then tie them together with an elastic. Flip the hair around the loop and then pancake the edges. Create another similar twist under the fistel braid. This is just for creating a full effect of the style. After that, release the fistel braid. Take a section from the both sides of the fistel braid and bring them over. Tie together with an elastic. Flip the end of the hair through the loop and pancake the edges. Then I tighter the elastic to create more full effect. Repeat the same pattern. Take small section of hair from the both sides. 
bring them together and secure with an elastic. Flip the hair strand through the loop and pancake the edges. Take again some hair from the both sides, tie them together, flip the end through the loop and pancake the edges. Tie through the elastic. Take again some hair from the both sides, tie them together and create a twist. Pancake the edges. When I create the elastic braid, I usually create the twists on the different places, so the twists won't be under of each other's. And sometimes I do the twist on side like this, and sometimes I do the twist on the middle or to the another side. If you want to create the twist point to the back side of the braid, I suggest you to twist hair twice on this point, because otherwise it will be too loose. But I create my elastic braid with twists on the middle, left and right. When you have about 10 to 15 centimeters left, curl the end of the hair. I curled my accent hair on the same time. Here you can see the great length better. After doing the curls, separate the section in two pieces. Then take the small piece from the left, bring it over and add to the right side. Small section from the right, over to the left. Section from right, over to the right. Right to the left and left to the right. Right to the left, left to the right. So create the French freestyle braid. And when the braid is on desired length, secure with an elastic. Then pancake the edges to make it look like elastic braid will continue like this. Next, I will add some flowers to this hairstyle. I press my nail finger inside the braid where I want to place the flower and just simply push the flower on this place. The last flower I place inside the last elastic. And here's the final result. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you like it and I will see you soon again.